Up next, we have uh, Dr. Chung Ng, going to talk about uh, automating business tasks with LangChain and Python. This should be exciting. So, if everyone can you know, put their hands together. And, uh, Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Chung from the technology office of HRT PCW. Um, so, very glad to be here um, to share some of our uh, you know, early, I would say early day development of uh, you know automating some business tasks with uh, Python, GPT, uh, you know, OpenAI model as well as NetTrain. Um, so I think uh, first of all, uh, this two image generated by Bitjani. I think everyone talk about co-pilot, right? So um, you know, from our perspective, um, you know, we we can't just simply rely on you know um, all the large language model for all the work. So. I think the key message for this slide is we have to check and verify. I think this is very key you know, for our colleagues to use uh, GPT-related stuff as well. So uh, it's just like a robot sitting next to you instead of you know, doing your job. Um, I think this is very clear. I, I mean, we, in the last six months, everyone you know, experienced all the GPT-related stuff, you know, chat, but mainly text space. So you may ask questions and you get something output in text and then you have to you know, handle those texts later on. Um, so I mean this is very clear, but in the last six months it was kind of you know a generation of uh, Gen AI or GPT, so everyone talked about that. So how corporate adopt that is another story. So I'm trying to uh, you know give two sections today. One is more about um, you know some early testing, the second part if I have time. I would, I would see the time, I would tell you what we have been doing in production way, uh, you know, with uh, LLM. Okay, so um, this is uh, this is kind of extension from uh, GPT. I think you guys see, see, have seen that already. I won't go through the details. Say code interpreter, you can treat it as a Python, you know, um, you know one time, and you know, you, you want all that analysis, you can treat it as a notebook, Jupyter notebook, everything's coming out. Um, you know, it's, it's actually very cool, and uh, you know, if you go to Azure and ask the LLM model to write you some code, it doesn't really want the code for you, right? You have to, you know, want to separate your other things. But you know, the OpenAI code interpreter can do that. Okay, next. Um, so apart from just wanting uh, codes or you know Jupyter notebook, they also have the plugin function that you know if you ask for ingredient for you know dishes or how to cook fish. They will, you know, suggest some ingredient, and you can simply uh, ask uh, the pumpkin to put it in the chart of the uh, shopping mall, and then you know, go. Of course, it's in the U.S., not in Hong Kong, but that's that's the way to link the test to the real world. Okay, um, so I think LangChain actually played that role uh, in the real world. If we have to take care of different large language model, um, so um, that can do multi large language model. Uh, and also, it can do the train of thought, reasoning, as well as linking to the external environment. So, for example, you know, you can get the YouTube, you can get the Google search, you can get all the PDF, you know, Excel file, whatever, and link to, uh, you know, the front end. Say, for example, your WhatsApp or Telegram, that kind of thing. So, it's kind of like land train is playing the role of linking from the LLM to the, you know, to, to the real world. Okay, so I will go through some ideas. Um, um, we kind of tested, um, so for example, the knowledge base, personalization, uh, automation, uh, how, how that trick deal with memory, multi-large language model, um, and also um, the front end. And then, um, you know, uh, I will have a quiz at the end as well, and I have some gifts with my, with Karen uh, from my team. So um, if you win it, there will be some mirror card. I, I'm, I'm not sure you guys are mirror friends, but then I, I'm sure you have some friends uh, or relatives very into mirror. So you know, uh, enjoy it if you win it. And also, if you ask question at the end, you know, you will get a card as well. <laughs> right. All right. Um, so. Um, the first part is the knowledge base. Uh, for example, um, you know everyone know you know the, the GPT uh, for not the Turbo one, which we, which just announced a few days ago. The, the normal one is, is to the knowledge is up to uh, September two thousand twenty one, right? So if we ask you know about HKT interim report, you know annual report of two thousand twenty three, of course it can't answer you. But then uh, you know in business day, in business you know daily life, you have to uh, use the latest data from time to time. 
and so we kind of develop a front end, and we let you know, um, you know, we have a function over there that allow our colleagues, um, you know, to upload a PDF, and so they can actually digest the PDF, uh, you know, by some search, and then uh, put the uh, information file into the LLM model for some way or for analysis, and then give you the data back. Um, so let's see the a little bit more details. It's actually come with the land train. Land train has a coma. Uh, you can, um, you know, it's open source and embedded database as well. And then you can use a uh, function called hugging phase, instruct and add it to convert, uh, you know, the, the text in the PDF and put into coma. So next time when you ask a question in the prompt, it can search the uh, coma database and output the text. And then they call it in context, some people call it in context uh, learning. Basically, it's, you're not fine tuning, you're not training the model, but you are putting extra information in your text. In your port, and then uh, ask the uh, LLM, and it will based on your um, you know in context uh, you know um, messages, and then come back with something. You can ask it not to iterate uh, or not not to you know make things up, but then uh, you know that kind of pretty cool, and usually you can do the task. Okay, um, so let's see. The, another part is whole personalization. When we when we really experience things, we are thinking about oh maybe one day. Um, you know, if someone call our customer services, you know, um, if we use LLM to uh, suggest some answer to the customer, we can actually be more tailor-made or personalized. I think this is very important in digital transformation, right? So if we know, you know, a customer is, you know, family with kids, then of course we are. If we are recommending now TV to that, we all we will we'll not recommend or we may recommend the kids package, right? So I think that's really critical. Um, um, I, even uh, people have been saying this kind of uh, personalization for many years. I don't feel anyone has been doing that extremely well, apart from those you know big giant like you know Amazon or you know Netflix that kind of things. I think uh, in uh, telecom world, uh, there's still some gap to fill, and um, you know I see it's a good opportunity to to tap on you know LLM. And so this one is quite simple. Um, you know you, you can um, have a Function, um, you can pass a, you, you, you can use the MongoDB, for example, to say to store your uh, customer information as well as your product information. So then, if you ask the um, you know if the customer is coming in, if you ask for a you know customer ID, it will retrieve uh, you know the customer characteristic as well as they may recommend or uh, you, you can search for the MongoDB for some product and then you can ask the LLM to match them and recommend which one should be the priority you know, to talk to the customer. Or you know, maybe even the customer has some issue with certain model, you may recommend certain you know, uh, step or you know, procedure to help them to resolve that. Okay, um, so the third part I would like to share a bit is, uh, I think this is quite interesting, is uh, this is an example of, uh, you know, I don't feel well in the morning, and I want GPT to send me an email to my boss saying I'm sick, but please do it politely. And uh, you know, one day I will be that that lazy, and I, you know, they will just do it, and my boss will receive it. And in a professional language, because if I'm really sick, you know, I don't feel I, I can write, uh, you know, a nice message to my boss. Uh, we probably just, <laughs> but I mean, this is this is cool. Okay, and even you can do WhatsApp one day, um, or Telegram. Uh, teams. Um, so uh, that go to the um, automation part. Say the problem is actually quite simple. Just you know, email send uh, you know to your my boss, and the, it will just say email sent successfully, and you can see the uh, the message over there. Okay. So how how it was done? Because um, you know we use the there was uh, the power automate function for the uh, you know M three sixty five of Microsoft. Or you can use Gmail as well. Then um, a severe, um, different kind of like uh, kind of API integration plugin. Like then you can uh, ask the um, use the prompt to ask, and then the land train will actually analyze what function you have to call, what it has to call. The agent of the land train has to call, and then it will just call the API, fill in the content uh, generated from the LLM, fill in the you know your boss email, and then just send it up. And um, that that's pretty good. Cool. Okay, um, to deal with the manual, I think uh, this is something uh, we kind of, uh, I, I, I didn't realize. Uh, I was thinking, oh, 
the model may have memory, but uh, you know, uh, actually not. Uh, every single time you ask a prompt, it's called new, uh, you know, uh, to the LLM. But then, because of you summarize your previous conversation uh, in your prompt, so then you 15 minutes left, uh, 15 minutes left, right? Okay, cool, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, and so, um, yeah, so then I will summarize, um, you know, uh, the, all the previous prompt, and there will be a different way to do that. You can ask, you summarize all the previous, uh, you know, conversation, or you can summarize uh, n, number n, say six or seven conversation, or just the previous one. And so obviously, it, it depends on the token size. Um, so if you ask a very long paragraph and you wanted to summarize everything or including everything at the top, it may you know out of token and that may not work. So you have to you know, adjust that. And there will be some automation on that. It depends on your uh, palm size, and then you can ask it to calculate the remaining token, so you can give it a certain number of token to summarize your previous message. Okay, so there's a function you can look at. It's called conversation summary uh, buffer memory, and uh, just just keep that in mind. Um, okay. Uh, oh, if you don't, uh, well, that was about the recent conversation. But then, you know, if you use, uh, you know, the the uh, PoE or you know, OpenAI front end, you see there's some uh, conversation, you know, you haven't touched it for a long time, and those things you can uh, again store in the uh, MongoDB, um, you know, and when they come back, you, you can just call the MongoDB with the session ID, and you can do the summarization from there as well. That's possible, and. Uh, you can handle that. Okay. Um, so, um, well, we're thinking, uh, you know, not only about text message, but can we actually use this uh, this UI? Well, this UI is actually open source. You can, um, you know, Google search uh, GitHub, uh, you know, OpenAI uh, UI UX, and then you will find this uh, same thing. You can play around with it. It's not really similar to the OpenAI thing. And then we want to add two things. We want to make it. Uh, you know, able to output images, able to call mid journey, able to call you know uh, other LLM model for you know code, coding, suggestion, that kind of things. So um, we kind of got an account from Google, uh, Google Cloud for uh, Cody, which is pretty good in uh, you know coding. Uh, I think it, it has been uh, um, doing very well. So um, let's see if I can play this. This is an example of um, you know uh, a, a UI very similar to the OpenAI, but it, uh, we put it on premise in the server, and then uh, can ask some image. Uh, because typically, if you ask Big Journey, uh, you will have to uh, install this code and that kind of things, right? And you have to help your colleagues to set it up. Um, we were thinking, okay, how about we just put everything in one single UI UX, and uh, that's that's the kind of the idea behind that. And you can uh, also. Um, you won't able to ask me journey uh, directly through the API, but you can ask the Discord through the Discord API, and then it will ask me journey. Okay, so next one. Um, mid journey is stable diffusion, and um, so we, we have to test that, and that works. And so these are the the, the code that um, about how a um, how about how to handle those uh, requests. Because uh, basically, if you ask a poem, say uh, image related, it will first ask a model called Da Vinci, and Da Vinci will classify that is you know image related. So because of that, I will ask uh, you know stable diffusion or big journey, or because if you stay stay well, you stay, I want to ask big journey journey image, and that's why it will call that. So you can imagine there's a um, you know a first layer of LM model to understand the language before it's actually choosing which model to call, and that is the role that Langchain has been playing. Okay, and uh, obviously front end, um, you know we have the um, Power Virtual Agent uh, by Microsoft. You can take care on the right hand side is the the UI UX I talk about uh, the flags we add to JS. You can add your own function. You know you can um, you know. Put a little icon over there. You know, allow your colleagues to upload files. You know, call certain database. Um, that's that's very flexible, and you know, you can. You, I think most of you can handle that. Um, this is one of example. Um, you know, most of our colleagues use Teams, and so we have uh, a, a pretty good integration uh, with Teams. And so uh, even for my mobile phone, I can always ask GPT for uh, you know some question, and they will do the summarization. Or even for my LinkedIn post, I will just ask over there, and they will draft it for me. That's really uh, handy. 
Okay, um, I skip this part, but then landfill is important. I think if you guys haven't started with land train, uh, you know, uh, do it landfill, but landfill doesn't do all the things. Uh, but it can do some core features, and you know, on the left hand side, you can, you know, create an Asian jet and job, uh, and build a new train, uh, you know, call different LL model, or even loaders, memories, um, that kind of tools is available. But, our experience is if you really want the visibility of you know to you know push the limits of land train, uh, this is not enough. You have you have to do the uh, partner coding. Okay, this is just some of that. It's just jab job and then you link different uh, you know parts together. Okay, I'll, um, it's quiz time. Um, I I hope it, it's going to work. Uh, can you guys scan this? Um, I think it will bring you to the Kahoot. Oh, that's better. Uh, very simple question. Three simple questions. And I'll, I'll just remind you that you have to be fast. Uh, I think most people will get the correct answer, so you have to be fast. You have your mirror cast in hand. <laughs> All right, in your pocket. <laughs> 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 are the models we used to generate image. Obviously, we launched this uh, two point five gigabit per second broadband, uh, you know, to the market uh, early this year. All these images were generated by Midjourney. 
so it saves a lot of you know time and cost. And Eden, of course, is real. No. <laughs> yeah, but then uh, I, I won't talk about this theoretical. But I think one thing for corporate to use is actually quite challenging because always about data security. You can use it for your personal life or for any use, but corporate has another mindset. And you need to, uh, you know, the right tools for your colleagues to use. And also, some colleagues, uh, when they use it, they think it's not cool or they it can't answer my question. Then you have to upskill them. You know, how you how how should you ask for the prompt? Okay, so we have been doing that, and um, you know, so that's why we set up the you know the uh, the uh, kind of the teams with GBT, and also we do a lot of training as well as we put a very secure environment. Uh, you know. I don't know if anyone from Microsoft here, but we, we use the Microsoft Azure uh, Open AI uh, kind of model, so it's a current car within our control. Uh, so this was the very early day January, so it's about in April. So we have you know the web version. It doesn't look really cool, but still can you know we can give you something uh, in house for internal colleagues. But then uh, we move on to give the um, the team version. Uh, this is more handy, as I said. Um, I think now it's still uh, you know a kind of you have different tools together. For myself, I still use different tools, bank, you know, in-house because I know if I ask about company stuff, I have to go in-house. But if I want the data stuff, I go for bank, or right? it can search the internet. And so sometimes it's the example is if I want to mix them together, say for example, a customer they have certain requirement for latest you know water for SME. I may ask bank to list out all the things and the price of. You know, characteristic, whatever, and then I will, you know, ask internally the requirement of that customer, and they ask, you know, uh, in-house GPT to match them, so I can give some recommendation. So you you have to have some tricks to play around with you in the corporate world uh, for that. Okay, um, I can skip that. And I think the general idea is it definitely time saving. Uh, coding one day we will say it can be time time ten times faster. Uh, I don't. I don't know exactly the number right now, but I think at least 20, 30 percent improvement for everyone. Um, marketing things, you know, from up, from days to hours, and you know, task automation, uh, you know, uh, especially for R and D, Y, tech, or you know, whatever task related, huge saving. Okay, um, this is an in-house version that we actually use it uh, for our customers' uh, services of Cupsim. Anyone use Cupsim here? Ah, oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah, Cupsim is our. Um, our uh, digital brand, so um, we uh, we expect our customer a lot to call you, a lot to call us. Uh, you know, use the chat online. Um, we are not yet in this uh, um, this stage of uh, you know letting the uh, GPT do reply directly because we we want to check whether the answer is correct or not, and we want to save some logs to experience that. But then uh, it is kind of agent assist already, so uh, GPT will suggest an answer based on the previous knowledge. And also, we have used a um, you know a tablet. Uh, I skip here. Um, you know, it's called graph analytics. Um, so we we'll work with a startup called Links Analytics, and uh, we try not to put everything just in the vector, and then uh, but instead we put it in a graph. So because of, we know the previous uh, you know customer request, so we can actually link the questions together. So people asking this question, we have a follow up question with this and that. So for the um, Retrieval of internal data, we won't just uh, you know get that answer, but we will get the related answer around that, and that gives GPT more power to answer uh, in a in a you know more professional way. Okay, so if you guys have uh, you know have time, take a look of you know how to mix deal for J or graph that kind of things with uh, GPT, and um, this is some training I I, I will skip it. Um, obviously, we use Big Jelly, Adobe, Firefly, that kind of things. Um, pretty cool, but then using image have another things you have to be careful because of the copyright. Uh, you know, you decide for big journey, but you also grant your copyright to big journey for others to use. So this is something you have to you know keep in mind if you use it for corporate environment. Um, Copilot, I think um, you know I, I won't talk too much. Uh, everyone have tried it, but I'm looking forward to the uh, you know to the latest one. They just announced the last few days. Um, oh, we are. You know, early test, early trial, um, you know, enterprise for M365 Copilot. Anyone use uh, M365 Copilot here? Anyone have access? No? Okay, so I may be, you know, the first few hundred people in Hong Kong experience that. Um, I, I would say it's, it's actually uh, 
very handy, and I can imagine the, the reason for that. Uh, for example, this one, if, if you have, uh, you know, uh, for example, you ask it to calculate the PE ratio for certain company, and you list out your table, and they will just recommend an uh, equation for you, and if you just click one, expand, expand, explain the formula, and in certain column, it will just do all the things for you, right? But then, um, I, I also kind of get a sense that it's still not up to the full power because it has a little bit, uh, you know, hesitation in um, actually doing the job you ask it to do. Sometimes it will say, you can do this step and that step by yourself, but you know, it, it is not going to do it for you, but I think in the future it will. Okay, so I think last, last one to what about um, you know, uh, I hope the talk has been helpful, so help you guys to think beyond just the text-based message. And the second one is always think about the automation part, think further, and also, uh, you know, try to think from, you know, user, uh, persona, you know, how your colleagues, uh, you know, as an engineer or, you know, software developers, it would be good to put yourself into, you know, uh, the user perspective, how they actually use it, and then you can formulate more use case with uh, GPT and that track. So, Thank you, and I stop here. Thank you. So, so we have uh, time for questions. If anybody has any questions, please raise your hand. Can you pass this? Hello, uh, thank you for the talk. And I would like to ask, uh, just some checkbox, just like your uh, uh, HAT checkbox. And previously is very and manually, but now we have LM and we have talked about engine. Is any uh, pen or any things can give us a hint how to style those conversations? Just like more personalized or some kind of uh, different personality, that kind of things. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and thanks for the question. That's very really interesting. We we found some of our agent uh, got better successful weight in, uh, you know, uh, or, you know, the scorecard or the feedback from the customer is actually better. I think those is uh, the, the critical part of, you know, can we actually take out those uh, and see what, even even for voice, you, now you can turn it into transcript, right? And those are the kind of like cool reference that you can extract. And you can even change those not performing colleagues using, you know, the performing colleagues script, and that could be very helpful. Um, and also personalization is, uh, you know, um, something similar to what I talked previously. Uh, the best thing is when you pick up a call from the customer or on the, on the chat board, you actually know what the customer is thinking. Because the customer always think, you know, it's not only us. All the companies don't understand that. You know, as a customer yourself, right, you know, you call someone, you know, you have to explain, you know, from the very beginning, you know, uh, it, he may not even know, you know, he may tell you something that you actually don't need it. Then uh, the best thing is once you pick up the phone, you have some historical, uh, very simple guideline, maybe just a few bullet points to help the, you know, the agent to understand the customer. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, we should have time for one more question. Oh, we have, I see you. Can you pass this time? Thank you. So I have a number of clients who would like to implement chat GPT on their chat board. Beforehand, it's just some template, but they would like to have a personalized reply with chat GPT. But I just heard that you just implement that on the cloud sim chat board. So is there any plan for you to uh, mind, uh, uh, actually implement that into a uh, truly uh, uh, direct reply with chat GPT or if, uh, to promote this service to other uh, uh, clients or service in HPT. Thank you. Yeah, uh, uh, good question as well. Um, so we, we do have a plan because um, apart from the two services which you guys are very familiar with, we also have a HPT enterprise services to be. So a lot of our customers um, is, are interested in uh, adopting GPT, but they also face a technical challenge on, you know, uh, I think one of the typical questions is, uh, you know, when they just put some knowledge into the, uh, the database, and the reply is not as, as good as they expect. That's why we went to the point of using graph to do it. Uh, because, you know, when we work with the staff, the staff told us that, you know, if you simply, based on that question to find the answer, 
it's not, you know, sometimes you may, uh, the example I just went through, um, but I skipped that, uh, you know, actually showing, uh, just finding that answer can't really fulfill the customer need, but you have to link different knowledge together. So that's why I think Microsoft also, uh, they, they talk a few times about graph, even linking different files to graph together. So that would give you know a better to be experience, and we, we want to do that. But I think the first thing for us is internal use first, because we want to you know um, make sure it's it's going to work for ourselves first before actually helping our customers. Uh, anyway, uh, my my client also asked if they implement ChatGPT, will they will uh, reply something that they want to, for example, ah, they yeah. get some. Uh, Information or yeah. some information from their competitors. So, how, how do you think? Uh, maybe we'll want to follow up this question uh, personally on the side because we have to uh, get ready for the next session. No, it's all right. Asking questions is great. That's a good question. Yeah, and that happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get another warm round of applause? We'll cut the, the card. <laughs> Please. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um,